So I've laid out all my tools for this job. Got some rags, a couple of pry bars, a big one and a small one, metric wrenches, a uh, big hammer. We've got uh, quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive sockets and uh, air ratchets for both, and a big impact wrench, breaker bar, uh, grease for the axles. This stuff to clean any uh, gunk off that we might run into. Because parts of this can be a dirty job. Uh, I've got a adjustable wrench, needle nose pliers, channel locks, a 5 16th inch uh, nut driver, some new brake fluid, so, uh, old empty or mostly empty brake fluid can, a clear plastic spoon, clean pan, floor jack, and three jack stands. A couple of blocks of wood. Need those. This is why I have the spoon. You see the reason I spooned it out is because I'm going to be messing with the slave cylinder and when I press that in it's going to push fluid back up in the reservoir. So this keeps me from overflowing.
There's a fifth bolt in this. In order to take the driver's side axle out, there's a carrier bearing that goes halfway up the shaft. And they see a bolt there and a bolt there. And we got to take those out, and it's a tight spot. Reach in and grab it by the back of the carrier bearing. It comes right out of the transmission. There's a bolt missing right behind that mount. And that bolt is uh, kind of important because it's what holds the transmission to the block. There's a, a few more in there and they're all tight. So I've been around those. But also missing, I discovered, was a uh, lower starter bolt. You can see the bolt hole right in the center of the screen, right there. As I pan back, right below the little nub sticking out. And so missing two bolts. Yeah, I went over and pulled them off of the Colt so that I could measure them for size. And uh, matched up a pair of them since these fell out on the road somewhere. I don't know where. But uh, we're going to pull this off the rest of the way and make sure the bell housing and the clutch and everything else is intact.
All right, here we are under the car. This is the side where the starter bolt's on. You can see it's missing. And down below it, you will see there's another bolt hole that's right here. Now, there's no place on the other side of the transmission for a bolt to come through on that side. There's supposed to be an M8 bolt going through this hole. The weird thing about this is that hole has M10 threads on it. So the reason why that thread ha that has M10 threads is because that's for bolting it to an engine stand. On the other side of that, there's a dowel pin that goes through the transmission to align things. So that bolt is an M8 by 60, and it needs to be there to hold this stuff together. Be aware of that one during reassembly. Make sure you get an M8 by 60 bolt in that hole.